Rashford returned to the United squad for the first time since the FA Cup semi-final with Coventry City, which secured his side's place in the final at the end of the month. The 26-year-old only made the bench, despite Eric Ten Hag naming an 11 with no recognizable striker, with Ahmed Diallo joining Bruno Fernandes and Alejandro Garnacho in the attack. Before the match, Rashford was seen getting involved in an argument with a United supporter while the sides warmed up. The England international approached the stands following abusive chants towards him and even had to be held back by Anthony to prevent the situation getting any uglier. It is unclear at the moment what the fan in question was saying, but it certainly caught the attention of Rashford who broke out of his warm-up. Multiple angles of the incident have emerged, and it can be heard that other fans in the section are encouraging Rashford saying Rashford don't listen to him. Rashford scored 17 Premier League goals in the last campaign but has only managed 7 in the league this time around, with United struggling for goals across the entire squad. This isn't the first instance of abuse being targeted at the forward as he has already been forced to address the online abuse he has received. Listen, I'm not a perfect person, he said in an interview with TPD. When I make a mistake, I'll be the first one to put my hand up and say that I need to do better, but if you ever question my commitment to Man United, that's when I have to speak up. It's like somebody questioning my entire identity and everything I stand for as a man. I grew up here. I have played for this club since I was a boy. My family turned down life-changing money when I was a kid so I could wear this badge. There has been growing speculation surrounding Rashford's future at the club with links to PSG becoming more regular since the announcement of Kylian Mbappé's departure.